another set of wheels guys yeah i don't know this is probably the fifth set i really like these uh, these are factory om i think 05 through 07 wheels are 20 inch uh 20 by 8 i think they're a 40 millimeter offset something like that you know factory what i really like about this versus the aftermarket is they use the factory lug nuts using the uh the aftermarket lug nuts I just uh for the weight that you know you want to pull and everything you want you want some a factory solution i, I don't really trust aftermarket lug nuts i mean uh they just don't seem like they're as tough as the uh the factory option anyway i think it's it's much better but these are the these are my favorite factory wheels and um i swapped the tires from the other set of uh factory wheels i had and I sold the other factory wheels and got these, and I'm like 25 bucks a head. So, as far as that is, uh, you can't beat it. Plus, if I ever ruin one of these rims, there's a factory replacement out there. It's not like the uh, the other set of aftermarket wheels I had, um, which were a Mickey Thompson Classic 2 in 20 inch, and they only made that a few years, and they're getting they're kind of rare, and I, I don't think I'd ever find a replacement wheel. So I think this is a better option. The only thing I wish is it had a wider offset. I wish it was more like a zero offset. But actually, this is probably what is best for, you know, as far as uh, steering. and It's hard to beat factory, guys. Except for the engine. You can beat the engine. <laughs> that factory 6.4 is uh, worthless to me anyway. All right. Uh, today's, this is what today's video is about. You saw a couple episodes ago, um, I got this from Power Driven Diesel, AFC Live. Um, not sponsored by them, but I'm going to do a, uh, a results of the install. If you guys want to see, you want to, you know, see the uh, install instructions and how to do it, I'm, I'm going to go over it real briefly, uh, you know, while I do it. But it seems like really good quality components. Um, I would go to their website. They have got uh, the clearest install instructions. They're the ones created the kit, and that way uh, you won't make any mistakes by following my example. So anyway, this is really a, a video about the uh, after results of installing. And um, I don't know if I mentioned before, I'm having trouble um, when I crank it up. Runs fine. You know, it uh, cranks right up. No issues. Um, it's just when I take off, it doesn't build boost past like 10 pounds. And it's just like it's stuck, like it's not getting enough fuel or something. So I'm hoping this is my solution to fix the problem. And um, that's one of the reasons I'm really motivated to install it. I'm, I'd like to have the extra horsepower, but I really want to solve that problem. Because it's kind of a pain to have to stop the truck and restart it um, to get full boost out of it again. I got the stock to 30 PSI uh, max travel kit. And I may, I've got a little bit more... Uh, once I turn in my injectors, I've got injectors to put on here, some uh, five by 12 injectors, and I don't want to do that now. I want to keep the stock injectors in there and see what kind of results I get with the stock injectors. And after I'm satisfied with the results and everything, I'll go and change the injectors out. Never have a problem with starting. It just cranks right up every time. I'm hoping by me, uh, changing this out i'm not going to have that issue but anyway let's go and uh get this thing in the backyard and get to work on it yeah i hope i don't regret this and i hope it's hope it's not a mistake but uh, i mean a lot of people can tune it without this afc kit but from what i've seen it, it gives you total control over this mechanical pump which I really like that idea. And it's not like I can't undo it. I can undo it. I might have to buy a new uh, a new foot to control. You got you got to grind down the uh, the foot to get max travel. And um, I think it's worth the risk. And I'll just have to uh, buy another foot if I ever want to set it back. So, all right. Seems pretty straightforward. Oh, that would be such a good spot right there. Put it right inside there. <laughs> Stuff behind there though. Yep, it won't go in there.
There we go. I'm making this my tripod. That's not what I think it is. That kind of looks like uh, some kind of seeds in my uh, ashtray here. Man, I better be careful if I get pulled over. <laughs> they got a dog. I might, I might get in trouble. Who knows this thing could have something stashed in it somewhere. <laughs> be hard explaining that. Oh, I, I bought the truck used. You're like, oh yeah, sure. Golly, man. Oh, it's so close. This gonna fit in there. I think my install can be considered uh, aftermarket turbo since I've got a HE351 on mine instead of the stock HX35. Okay, so I'm routing the lines. I've got a hole where my uh, throttle cable goes through. I don't know if you can see it through there. But that's where I'm routing my line since I already have that hole in the firewall. It's nice. That's where my lines are coming through. It says you have to take this air horn off, but I don't think I need to. I think I can just take everything off from right here. There we go. Call that being the fuel plate slid all the way forward, and I don't know what fuel plate that is or anything about that. But I know it slid forward, and that's what they're always talking about, giving it max fueling. So I guess mine was already slid forward. So, yep, took that out. Take the one from the kit and put it in here. Got the foot. This is a critical step. They say, do not, I gotta take this fuel plate out. And they say, do not let the screws fall down in there either. It'll be screwed. Oof. Fuel plate is out. Go all the way rear. So, rearward, forward. I think I'm going to start right there, whatever that is. Not all the way forward and it's not all the way rearward. The two connectors are hooked up. One with a white stripe goes to the head. It's too easy to cut. Way too easy to cut. Too easy to screw up, in other words. Ready to go. Get the excess line out.
battery died, so I had to get another battery. But uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to tune this AFC Live now, and it's definitely this truck's definitely got a lot more power. A lot, most of it's on the top end now. I want some low end power, so I'm gonna see what kind of tunability I have to get the power down low. Tune the, uh, get the smoke out and get the most power out of it at the same time. I hope that's what I did. Nothing here yet. Nothing on this side. <sighs> there we are. Oh, it's too much for the old girl. Guess I'm gonna have to do that right. <laughs> Alright, I'm done playing before I tear something up here. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.